Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It actually helps the channel quite a bit, so I do appreciate it. Well, we have our cold front clearing off the coast, and that is leading to a few lingering showers and some flurries over the Catskills, but that is about it. Other than that, we have scattered a broken cloud cover throughout the region. Winds from the northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour at times gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. Temperatures range from the mid to upper 20s over the far northern interior, mid 30s to lower 40s in your suburbs, and lower to mid 40s in your urban areas, upper 40s still lingering around southern New Jersey. As colder air builds in as this cold front clears off the coast, we still have some lingering snow showers here. This is associated with Lake enhancement off of Lake Ontario. This will subside and fall apart as we move on through the morning hours. So you'll still have a few snow showers and flurries, but nothing of significance. When we take a look at the infrared satellite picture, you can see our cold front is starting to drop off the coast here. Now we're going to keep an eye on this cold front, which will rebound as a warm front and then fall back in as a cold front over the next couple of days. Now tomorrow is going to be absolutely beautiful. Sunny skies, but... Well, it's going to be pretty chilly. But then for this weekend on through early next week, we are going to have a very, very volatile uh, weather pattern set up with temperatures in some locations possibly reaching record levels like around the Philadelphia metro where we could be pushing into the 70s on Sunday and Monday. Meanwhile, the Poconos or the Catskills are going to be stuck in the 30s depending on where this frontal boundary sets up and how much cold air we have settling in over the region. So a wide variety of weather and a potential for a wintry mix is going to be setting up as well for Monday night to Tuesday morning, uh, all based on where this frontal boundary sets up and when it stalls out as it runs into this high pressure system. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, high pressure will be building into the region after some morning showers look for Temperatures to rebound into the lower to mid 30s over the far northern interior, upper 30s to lower 40s in the New York City metro, and mid 40s in the Philadelphia metro. For tonight into tomorrow morning, with high pressure settling right over the region, look for clear skies, light winds, and it's going to allow your temperatures to plummet into the lower to mid teens for the higher elevations and upper teens to lower 20s along the coast. For tomorrow afternoon, high pressure remains in place with tranquil weather conditions. Look for temperatures to rebound into the mid to upper 30s for highs. Now, our high pressure system exits on Saturday, and as that's happening, we're going to get more of a southeasterly wind, and we're going to see clouds start to increase, but we're going to hold off on the potential for precipitation or rainfall until we get to the evening hours. So temperatures on Saturday will rebound quite nicely over much of the region with mid 40s over the far northern interior to the lower 50s along the coast mid 40s are also going to be expected like around let's say long island and right on the immediate new jersey coast because you have that southeasterly wind coming right off the waters saturday night we'll see showers start to break out and sunday we'll have scattered showers but not a washout okay but certainly just be aware of a few showers bouncing around here and there Temperatures on Sunday morning will range from the mid 40s along the coast, lower 40s over the interior, upper 40s in your urban areas. In the afternoon hours, look for temperatures to rebound very nicely, even along the coast, upper 50s to mid 60s along the coast, mid 60s to lower 70s away from the coast. And your best chance of seeing those lower 70s will be over the Delaware River Valley. Now again, a lot of this is dependent on just how far north this warm front is actually able to push and how fast the cold front approaches on Sunday afternoon. Sunday night into Monday, our cold front stalls out. Now yesterday, the cold front was expected to stall out basically around the Delmarva Peninsula. Today, we're starting to see more support of it stalling out, let's say around the central New Jersey coast. And cutting just to the north of the Philadelphia metro. Notice we have snow up here towards central New York, plenty of rain as this low pressure system starts to approach on Monday. So look for periods of rain to start to develop as we move towards the evening hours. 
this wave of low pressure will determine exactly what we're going to be dealing with. So temperatures on Monday will right now look to be rather warm, but still a wide range with low temperatures over the higher elev elevations in the mid 30s, while along the coast and in the uh, Philadelphia metropolitan area in the lower 50s. So about a 15 to 20 degree difference. Meanwhile, in the afternoon hours, well, temperatures are really going to range quite a bit to the upper 40s over the interior to the lower 70s along the coast and into Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, we get an even stronger gradient because our wave of low pressure will start to pass. We'll have cold air start to work in and we'll see that wintry mixed threat start to show up. Temperatures on Tuesday will range from the lower 30s over the higher elevations to the mid to upper 40s along the coast for lows. So there's your wintry mix potential. And then afternoon highs will range from the upper 30s over the higher elevations to the mid 50s along the coast. On Wednesday, look for high pressure and control with clear skies to sky cloud cover. Low temperatures will range from the lower 20s over the interior to the lower 30s along the coast. And on Thursday, another wave of low pressure will be approaching with rain towards the afternoon and evening. We could actually see a bit of a wintry mix as well for the higher elevations in the Poconos and Catskills. Look for low temperatures to range from the lower to mid 30s and high temperatures to range from the mid 30s over the higher elevations to the mid 40s along the coast. So a very active, volatile weather pattern is certainly on the way. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.